Enriquez and her struggle of growing up in her mother's shadow. Joining us now to share more, please welcome award-winning writer and actor Marco Antonio Rodriguez. Hola, Reina. ¿Cómo Hola. Estás? I'm a regular here, so I, I feel like I'm at home. I love it. I love it. I love that you feel at home. En mi casa. And absolutely, estás en su casa. Estás en su casa. Uh, we uh, especially really enjoy showcasing individuals on an annual basis and or, and or revisiting. I don't know if you come on every year. I mean, I've been here 10 years now. I'm actually going on 11. And um, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> thank you. And um, what we really enjoy is seeing uh, our artists progress, right? And, and just coming back on air, no, no matter where they are, to share with our viewers their um, their next project or how they wh how where the direction their development has has taken them. And I mean, some have won Grammys. I mean, we haven't yeah. had an Oscar winner yet. Uh, Not yet. yet. Yeah, or a Tony <laughs> winner. No, we've had Tony winners come back yes which is what we're going to put out in, uh, to you energetically universe. yes Tony <laughs> Tony Tony so let's talk a little bit about this new work uh, Salome it sounds mm -hmm. very sexy in the name of Salome in el nombre de Salome is a play adapted from the novel the best-selling novel by Julia Alvarez Julia Alvarez who wrote in el tiempo de las mariposas in the time of the butterflies mm -hmm. and how the Garcia girls lost their accents she wrote uh, Sal in the name of Salome a fictional account um, inspired by the life of real-life Dominican iconic poet Salome Ureña de Enriquez and her daughter Camila, who lived in her shadow. Salome passed away when she was only 46 years old, um, and Camila was only three years old when her mother passed away. So we sort of tell the story of these two women who are living in two different uh, time periods mm -hmm. and sort of the parallels of their lives, even though they really didn't get know each right, other. Right, right, because she wasn't really necessarily technically raised around her right. daughter. And so right. we tell I mean, around her mother. Around her mother. Me, right. We tell the tale of Salome uh, and how she rose to fame uh, as a pioneer woman for education, especially for women's education in the Dominican Republic. And then we tell the story of Camila, who was faced with living in, that, living in that legacy and also trying to find her own identity and her own voice within that name, Un Enriquez Ureña or Ureña Enriquez. Right. And so, um, basically, you know, when I hear Salome, right away I go into the dance, uh, the veils, or, or what have you. Yeah. But, but it's, it's a beautiful name, period. And, and, and I'm just saying that just because I said, oh, it sounds sexy. But now it's like, wait, wait a second, this is serious here because it's a story about a young lady mm -hmm. who's actually has, who has to live in the shadow of somebody. Or I guess it sounds to me like she's always proving herself or justifying something that is related to her mom and uh, I guess trying to establish her own identity. And there's two things very quickly to note is that, yes, yeah, Salomé Ureña Enriquez was a Dominican iconic poet, but the newer generation, and even my mother's generation, doesn't quite know who she was right. and her work. So it's important for us to share the story for the generations to come, as well as the ones that came before us. Uh, know your history, folks. Right. Um, exactly. No, it's great. It's great that you incorporate Because history repeats history. when we don't learn our lesson. Mm. Um, uh. <laughs> Uh, I wish everybody listened to that. And a few things. Uh, I like to call Salome one of the founding mothers of Dominican Republic. Uh, I also like to call her a nasty woman. Uh, a uh, nasty woman? Yeah. Sounds like my kind of girl. Exactly. Okay. And this play has several nasty uh, women. That, that gets a meow again. Right? <laughs> Today I'm going to meow on set. But yes, also Camila has to struggle with the fact that she is also a poet and wants to be a poet in her own right. right. But every time that she's approached about something, it's about her mother. And every time they want to do a lecture, hey, I want you to do a lecture about your mother. So the, the story sort of shares how she comes out of that shell and she fights through it, honoring her legacy, but also creating her own. Hmm. Hmm, I had to take that in for a moment. So, <laughs> well, you know, well, just because, you know, it, it's it's challenging when you're trying to be your own creator and create your own style and create your own words and create your own story. And then people are hiring you to revisit a story that you are trying to actually break away from. Right, no? Yeah. And the thing is also that what's interesting about the play and the novel is that it visits history in the 1800s in the Dominican Republic where it was so much upheaval. So many governments happening in one year. I mean, constant changes of presidents, constant changes of governments, a lot of corruption, a lot of tyranny. Um, and so we're <laughs> it's like we, we don't have a drum to go <laughs> put a <quote. laughs> but I think they get it and it's, yet um, she's able to fight through that as a woman in the Dominican Republic in the 1800s for the rights of women and for the rights of education for women uh, and she creates the first institution of higher education for senoritas for women in the Dominican Republic oh she my really gosh, does this is like the theme of, of today's show which I have to honor you uh, I have to acknowledge you for the honoring that you do uh, uh, in 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 women yeah. and um, 
Most importantly, just the integrity in your work. You, you you write a lot about women, but you you write strong, powerful women. And because I was raised by them. I appreciate that. Yeah. I, I was raised by that. very strong, powerful women. Some of them educated, and some of them not. And I I treat them equally. Right. To me, they are, as you were saying earlier, goddesses. They empowered me to be the man that I am today. I know, right? A woman empowering a man to be a man that he is today. Uh, but I celebrate. Well, them we constantly. only gave birth to. Hello. <laughs> Hello. And so, How much more empowering do you want? What? I'm inspired by them, and that's why I'm inspired to write. And I just love writing women. I just love it. Uh, sorry, guys. I have some good ca male characters in Barcelona con Yellow. Right, right, uh, right. <laughs> my other, other play. play. <laughs> uh, but I'm always inspired by this sort of sense of women because they are always sort of the ones that usually are oppressed first, but are always the ones to rise up first. Um, and to me, that's, a, that's sort of inspiring as an artist. Oh, and thank you so much for putting it on paper and mounting it. You inspire it. me, girl. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I, I, I'll take that. Uh -huh. I appreciate that because I, I do what I do and I keep it moving, you know, and I just do what I do because it's my purpose. Right? And when Salome did it in her time, she wasn't thinking, oh, I'm going to change the world. She was just thinking, I got to do what's right. Right. And the poetry is what inspires me, but my activism is what's going to be my legacy. Right. So I don't know what this, what's going to happen. I don't. It's about doing what's right. Right. Period. And so, and the same thing happens with Camila and some of the other women in the story. Beautiful. It's, it's a, you know, I'm, I just, I'm in awe of the fact that we have such amazing artistry within the United States that is so important to, uh, you support. know, sustain. Well, yeah, support, sustain, and preserve. And preserve. And, and I want to say, uh, I also want to acknowledge you for preserving the Latino cultura because uh, what uh, you guys should know is that it is presented in Spanish. With English subtitles right in front of your seat. So you're literally watching what's going on right above your eye or right above the screen and watching, looking down at what's being said in English if you don't speak Spanish. Right, and you have a nice long run. We do. We run until the end of June. Uh, and repertorio.nyc is the website where you can check out the dates. It runs in rep, which means some days it doesn't run every week. So you have to check the dates online to see what dates, what performances are what. Great. And so before we go, what are you up to next? Well, I'll be visiting an island for the very first time ever. I'm going to Puerto Rico. I've never been. Oh, my goodness. How, how, how is that possible? University of Puerto Rico is flying me out because they're doing this day of La Luz Un Cigarrillo, Ashes of Light, my play. Somebody wrote essays. The students studied it. And they're flying me out. It'll be, it will be the first time I set foot in Puerto Rico ever in just a few days. Oh, I, I've never been. Oh my gosh, it's so lovely. And then you're going out there to be studied. Oh my gosh. Yeah. But look at you. Look at you. Yes. So I'm excited yes. about well, that. Well, we're excited for you. La hija del borinque. All right. Yeah. 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 And make sure. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so I'm Wonderful. excited about that. Congratulations. And I'm doing a show at La Mama Theater as well as an actor called Kidnap Road. That's coming up in April. So nice. go to lamamatheater.org or something to check it out. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Congratulations, Thank Marco. And thank you for coming here. I appreciate here it. And sharing it with us. Thank you for having me. Awesome. I love it. Man empowering women to empower men. Mwah, love that. In the name of Salome is showing now through the end of June at the Repertorio Español, located on 138 East 27th Street between Lexington and 3rd Avenue. And for more information, you can visit repertorio.nyc. We are taking a quick break, but when we return, we'll find out about an organization empowering our young women through theater.